Power is the ability to do some work. Let me just delve into a better explanation of that. If we were to pull a bucket full of coal up a mine shaft using rope at a nice steady speed, compared to pulling the same bucket full up the shaft but at twice the speed, then when we do it at twice the speed, this is more power. Because we could potentially pull up two buckets of coal in the same amount of time, thus producing twice the coal. But, like in the first example, if we were to pull the coal up at the slow speed, but there was twice the amount of coal, then we'd be producing the same amount of power in the same amount of time. So, for example, if it takes one minute to pull one bucket of coal up, thus allowing us to pull up two separate buckets in two minutes, that would be the same amount of power output as pulling up a large bucket of coal with twice the weight but taking the slower time of two minutes to pull that large bucket up the shaft. Because ultimately, in both of these cases, the same amount of coal has been produced in two minutes. So power and horsepower are basically the same, but horsepower is a unit of measurement of power, or the rate at which work is being done. A Formula One car can have something like a thousand horsepower engine. The reason the race car engine can generate such a huge amount of horsepower is because of its ability to rev extremely high. They can rev up to 20,000 RPM. Then of course, if it's revving extremely high, then it's producing more revolutions of the crankshaft per minute, and therefore it's producing more work per unit of time. Although this is only to make an example, if you could imagine using a high revving engine like this to pull coal up a shaft, then of course if it could possibly happen, then it could potentially pull up a lot of buckets of coal per unit of time, and so we could say this would be a high power output. Then if we could somehow use an engine the size of the one off a cargo ship, we might say that because it only runs at a maximum of 100 RPM, that it's very slow and it won't get much work done. But despite the fact that the cargo ship engine is running at only 100 RPM, produces an unbelievable torque of over 7.5 million newton meters, or around 5.5 million pounds feet. But remember what we said about the mine shaft and drawing up buckets of coal? Then if we could somehow use an engine the size of the one off a cargo ship to draw up coal, then with all of that torque, even if this engine is working slowly, the sheer size of the bucket of coal that it would be capable of lifting would be incredible. And so even though it's working slowly, it would produce an incredible amount of coal per unit of time. And therefore, it would have a massive amount of power. So power, therefore, is basically how quickly the work gets done. And if you like that video, then you might like this one. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.